Okay, so um, my like idea or like summary of this book thing. First of all, it was very like difficult to understand because he does he says that his language is like normal for like all readers, but like I I wasn't vibing with it. Um, essentially, he does a lot of comparison between real and applied mathematics, and um, between and like he uh, uses a lot of terms like serious theorems and like generality in mathematics. He's basically just explaining a lot of like the basics of math um to like and explaining why like a reason why we do math and why it's so fascinating to so many people um one of the quotes that i um so it's uh professor hogbin says there are to be sure individuals for whom mathematics exercises a coldly impersonal attraction the aesthetic appeal of mathematics may be real for a chosen few Um, this was in section 10, page 14. Essentially, um, it's not everyone's, like, cup of tea, and, but, yeah, not everyone's cup of tea. Um, it's, like, it's, like, it just helps feed, like, the fact that they're trying to defend mathematics and say that it's not, like, stupid or anything like that. Um, yeah, and then I do have a second quote, um, so, uh, when Hardy is explaining the, how he uses the word real and reality, um, I've often used the adjective real, and as we use it commonly in conversation, conversation, I have spoken of real mathematics and real mathematicians as I might have spoken of real poetry or real poets, and I shall continue to do so. But I shall also use the word reality, which with and with two different connotations. And so he then continues to explain um, the difference between physical reality and mathematical reality. Um, again, he does bring a lot of terms in quotations in order to help defend his argument or explanation of mathematics and why it's done and studied, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah. Um, my question, I have two questions. So my first question is, why did he feel the need to write this book explanation apology thing? Um, I I mean, yeah, he was like old. So like he's past his like prime age of doing math as like, um, it said that you can't do math when you're like, or like your prime age of doing math is like in your twenties. And so now that he's old, he's writing books. Um, but like, why did he feel like what, um, why? I mean, obviously he did say like a couple reasons why, but like, I mean, like what's like the main over overbearing reason why he wrote this 52 page book. Um, and then my second question is, is every mathematician inspired mainly by one thing? And by this, I mean how um, G.H. Hardy was inspired by the book, A Fellow of Trinity uh, by Al- Alan St. Aubin. Um, and, you know, Wiles was inspired by The Last Problem by E.T. Bell. And Sophie Germain was inspired by the story of, or the story of Archimedes' death. So, like, is, is there, like, if for the majority, is there mathematicians that mainly um, are inspired by, like, one pivotal moment in their life? Or are there mathematicians that are just so in love and engrossed with math that, like, they just want to do it? And that's what inspires them. So, um, PSA, I, this book was really hard to read. I don't know about everyone else, but for me, for some reason, it was, like, extremely difficult, and I did, I wasn't vibing, but I finished it, so. Hi again. I forgot to make a agree slash disagree section. Um, so for agree, um, I honestly, I was just reading the book, and whatever, like, made sense to me was, like, okay, that kind of makes sense. But then again, a lot of the book didn't make sense to me, so I wasn't like, okay, that makes sense a lot.
Um, anyways, yeah, it was just, mm, I, I don't necessarily would say that I agree with any one thing or any, like, I mean, it's just like, okay, he wrote a book, I read it, and um, it makes sense. I, I wouldn't say I agree with anything. Um, I would disagree with just one thing, though, is that um, his use of the word useless in, um, in the way that he, like, says that some math is useless and some math is not useless like, for example, when he's talking about how, like, everything we learn in school, like, all, like, the elementary mathematics um, is, like, useful, uh, but then he goes on to explain how, like, all the math that for Ma and, you know, not that time, but, like, Tani, uh, Taniyama Shimura are, like, I can't find this page, I'm sad, but, like, there was a list of, like, a lot of math, oh, like, Vermont, Euler, Gauss, and Abel, and Riemann, like, they're all, like, use, like, all their math was, like, useless, and so, um, and then he also just, like, says that anything that's applied, um, is essentially useless, and I, I feel like that's not a good, just, word for it like and like find a different word for it that's not that's not it honey boo boo um like I don't disagree with like the differentiation between um like the elementary mathematics that we learn like up to calculus but like there you can't like just turn around and say that everything past that is usually or not everything past that but like all the things that are like discovered by mathematicians within the last 500 years like it's it mm, no no bueno